What's going on guys and gals and everyone in between? Hopefully this video finds you doing well. And we've been really able to recharge over the NBA break. Uh, no videos, no articles obviously for NBA. Uh, but that's really given us passion to build you guys some of the best articles out there. Um, with PGA last week, both of our lineups cashed. Uh, I was in first place for a very long time on FanDuel, but uh, one of um, one of my guys missed the cut, and uh, so it dropped us down, but we still got four times our um, entry fee, which, I mean, that's still a return on investment, and our DraftKings actually went six for six in golfers, and we cashed there. Um, over the weekend, we had um, PGA, then we had MMA on Saturday, um, NASCAR on Sunday, and we are starting to tweak our NHL content. Um, I took it offline until probably next week. Just wasn't happy with the projection, how the projections were. Um, obviously, um, NHL is very volatile, uh, but I uh, hope to bring that back in the near future. But I wanted to break down the Players' Championship for you guys. So just kind of going to look at... Um, what this video is going to be is we're going to look at the course. We're going to look at uh, past course um, results. And uh, then we're going to look at uh, different players. And uh, you'll kind of see. We'll just get through it. We'll look at it. And if you guys have questions, definitely hit us up down below or email me, support at fantasyteamadvisors.com. Or jump into our Discord channel, which you can find the link down below. We are there to help you guys. We have every sport there. We have sports betting on top of that. We got questions. People have questions. We've got answers. If I can't answer them, they can answer them. We've got a lot going on. Um, so I want to bring you guys as much content as I can from Fantasy Team Advisors. And if this video gets uh, 30 likes, I will throw out a FanDuel and G uh, DraftKings GPP lineup for golf for this weekend. Again, though, you're going to have to do it quickly because this tea time, I believe, is like 5 a.m. Central. Um, 6.35, 6, 6 or 6.35 a.m. Eastern. So um, you're going to have to get those in, the likes in today. So if you find this at all helpful, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. You can also follow us on all social media, which you can find down here. Just click the links there. So looking at the Players' Championship, just looking at the course, TPC Sawgrass uh, in Florida, 7,189 yard par 72. Uh, there are four par fives, four par threes, and 12 par fours. Average green size, 5,500 uh, feet. Larger than the average. So, I mean, these are pretty big greens. So, you want to look at those guys that can, uh, you know, they can, they're good at putting or getting on the green in regulation and then, you know, being able to put it in for par, birdie, whatever it is. Um, the type of grass, Bermuda. Bermuda grass greens with Poa trivialis. I don't know what that means, but it's obviously a type of grass. Um, the rough is two and a half inches for this course. Obviously, now these might seem trivial to you, but these are things that people need to look at. So you can find these, and you can find the stats of all the players that um, have had success on this type of course. Then you look at their recent bias. Then you look at the weather. I mean, there's a lot to go into golf but hopefully we're able to bring you here. Um, there are 88 sand bunkers on this course, which is a ridiculous amount, and then 17 water hazards. And they're in play on 17 holes. So a lot, a lot, a lot of information there. So hopefully that helped you. Uh, if you have questions, definitely let us know. Uh, previous five winners. So last year, I believe, I want to say this was when the, uh, I think they started to go with this, um, tournament last year and then COVID hit and they stopped. Um, th this is the week where everything started shutting down. Um, so th they didn't finish in 2020. I can't remember if they just started it or they canceled it prior to that. Um, if you guys know, let me know down below. But 2019, Rory uh, had, he won it with a minus 16. 2018 was Webb Simpson minus 18. Siwoo Kim was in 2017 at minus 10. 2016, Jason Day at minus 15. And 2015 was Ricky Fowler minus 12. So strokes gained to T green leaders from the 2019 tournament. Now, if you click on our PGA tab, we have uh, golfer stats, which you can check out. And this, this is in there. 
Um, but these are uh, currently, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the top five at each position here um, if you want to check it out click the link down below for this article because it helps me out and I, I know you guys look at the article so please click the article uh, go ahead and share it on Facebook Twitter or I don't know whatever else there is um, but looking at the uh, strokes gained uh, T to green leaders Rory here um, you've got his price 11,800 on FanDuel DraftKings is 10,600 number two is Matt Kuchar at uh, uh, FanDuel 8500, DraftKings 7200, and then DJ Dustin Johnson was number three here. Uh, FanDuel, his price is 12200 super expensive, obviously, but he's always in contention for running. I mean, when he wins, he really wins. Um, DraftKings 11200 there. Number four, Keegan Bradley on FanDuel is 8600, DraftKings is 6900, uh, and number five is Tommy Fleetwood. We've got Fleetwood here on FanDuel, 10,200 on DraftKings, 7,900. Then we move down to the next stat that is going into what we're looking at for players. Historical greens and regulation leaders at Sawgrass, playing a minimum of eight rounds. Uh, it's just a number there. I mean, obviously you can go back further if you want, but uh, number one is Alexander Norin. He's 8,400 on FanDuel, 7,000 on DraftKings. Uh, Richie Wawrinski, 50. Uh, 8,100 on FanDuel, 6,400 on DraftKings. Number three is Patrick Cantley at uh, FanDuel, price of 11,100 and DraftKings 9,200. Number four is Adam Scott, FanDuel is 9,700, DraftKings is 8,100, and then Russell Knox comes in at number five. FanDuel price is 8,000 and DraftKings price is 6,800. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to go over the salaries for these plays here, but I will, um, it's in the article. So click the link and you can see him if you can't see him on screen. So top plays on the slate, either per price or whatever. Dustin Johnson, where people are paying up for Dustin Johnson, um, specifically on DraftKings at 1200 I really like John Rahm. No, not a lot of people are talking about him. Now, Rahm is more expensive on uh, FanDuel, but on DraftKings, you could pivot down. Um, John Rahm's only 10900 there, so he makes a fantastic option. And then Rory is always in contention there. We had him last week. He, he made the cut. He, he made our lineups really what they were and able to cash. So those are three of the top plays. Now, it doesn't mean those are the only top plays. And it doesn't mean these are the only plays to play. I have a cheat sheet out there, and that is live. Uh, then we'll have the lineups out there probably a little bit later tonight, I would assume, um, just because with how COVID has been and everything, um, you never know who's going to withdraw. I mean, even last week, right after lineups locked, but before his tea time, who someone withdrew Ustensen, somebody, I can't remember at the top of my head, but I mean, people who use them were screwed. Uh, it, it's crazy. It's just, it's crazy, um, that you can go throughout the entire day and then decide, oh, I'm just going to withdraw last minute. It's too late for fantasy players, but they don't care about us. Uh, Mid-tier plays here, Tommy Fleetwood, uh, Will Zalatoris, Abraham Answer, and Corey Connors. Corey Connors was, he made it in both of our lineups, our FanDuel and DraftKings last week, I believe. And he surprised us. He was in first for a very, very long time. Um, really paid off his price, especially on DraftKings. Really paid off the price there. Um, price up a little bit here this week, but looking at that, uh, I don't mind him at all here. Then look at some value plays. You got Keegan Bradley here. Uh, more of a value play on DraftKings, but it, it's really what you're looking at. Uh, Emilio Grillo. Emiliano Grillo. Um, Cameron Davis. And Joel Dahman. I really like Dahman. He's a very, very nice play for me. Um, I think he'll be cheaper than... Uh, I mean, DraftKings at 6300 I really like that price there. So then, down below is our core plays. If you want to see them, click the link to see the core plays that we'll be playing this week. Check it out. The article is down in the description. So then we can move over here just to look at the sports bet, kind of see. Uh, oh, you guys can't really see it, can you? If I bring it down here. So... Um, just looking at these are DraftKings. Obviously, the lines are different for different books. But if you are betting, um, as of right now, Dustin Johnson is the favorite for winner. Bryson, uh, we had him last week. He won last week. 
uh, last week, Bryson drove a green of 500 and it was either 535 yards or 555 yards. He almost drove it on the green off his tee shot, which is crazy. Um, I think Bryson's price is going to, I mean, it's always going to be up there. I think people are going to see how he did last week and they're going to pay for him where I really like John Rahm. I wouldn't be surprised if Rahm wins it. Um, it's plus 1600. I mean, you you can take some bets there or, I mean, this is what is really good for DFS. So you can see these and you can base this off this and then you can go check. And if you are playing in tournaments, you, you might want to put a couple of these guys in there, but then come down here and find other ones that, might be in a better option spot for you if you're looking for ownership like least amount of ownership so just kind of looking does dj's up top here bryson number two rory mcelroy number three john rom number four colin morikawa at number five xander here number six justin thomas number seven patrick patrick cantley and number eight tony finau and number nine and webb simpson round up the top 10 of projected winners there so you can check that out then you can check out the top fives the top tens and in you know so it lineups will lock at 5 45 a.m central 6 45 a.m eastern uh so bring that into the front of your mind when you're building your lineups probably best to build them tonight so that is just kind of what we're looking at i mean with golfs with golf bets you could check matchups you could call it the props make or miss the cut tournament props a lot of these i don't like golf obviously is a sport to bet where very iffy um but if you can do a good job at it you can make some money winner obviously you're you're gonna you know gonna make some dough there with the odds but top 10 top five might be better if, if you've never bet golf before but this definitely can help you out while you're building your dfs lineups and while you're sports betting as well so there you go, guys. If you liked this video, let me know. Let me know if you liked the article. If it, if you want to see something else, obviously with golf being there every single uh, week, hopefully knock on wood, minus last year when they canceled a bunch of tournaments, um, we can. I would like to tweak the articles to your liking. So if you have suggestions, what you guys would like to see. Let me know down below or email me, or you can hit us up on Twitter at advisors underscore team. You can DM me there. What would you guys like to see? Or we have the Discord channel, which is huge. So check that out down below. Or we have a chat here, but the chat fills up pretty quickly, especially during lineup lock. So like with NBA tonight, we have two games tonight. So we are going to throw out a, a GPP lineups there. Um, and so, yeah, so you guys can check us out fantasyteamadvisors.com if you want a lot of free information um, we've got part of our premium content is our MMA MLB once it's here I tried to do spring training but the way the managers can decide if it's a 5, 7 or 9 inning game really just throws us off because there's not really a reliable source to be able to find that information so we're going to stick um, stay away from you know MLB until the season starts which is uh three weeks it's i believe every team starts on april 1st so that's exciting uh we've got nascar as well that is out every sunday so check that out nba since the all-star break is done nba is back nfl once that starts had a huge 2020 looking forward to nfl 2021 and pga here so we've got the tour schedule the golfer stats and then the premium content is the dfs cheat sheet and the lineups and like i said at the beginning we are tweaking our nhl content so that will be coming back in the near future but you can definitely check us out fantasyteamadvisors.com slash plans or click fta plus and what you can get with fta plus you get a five-day pass now these uh you get a five-day pass for $9.99. Then it automatically renews unless you cancel for $34.99. That, you'll get everything with that. Our best option right now is $34.99 a month or a year pass. If you use the promo code 300 off, you're going to get a year pass for $99. That includes access to all sports. That also includes sports betting as well. Anyone who has a year pass or a lifetime pass, which is grandfathered in, get sports betting included with it or you can get uh different policies there so uh, if you have any questions let me know hit me up any of our social media down below here i try to help you out hopefully you have success if you do 
come to our Discord channel, show us or email us your success pictures, and we'll post them. I'm going to have like a winner's pager. i got to come up with a, a clever name for it. I, I'm trying to come up with a clever, if you guys have a clever name, like not winner circle, but like, because that's, Victory Lane would be a NASCAR, so I'm just trying to, I don't know. If you guys have a good suggestion, let me know here. But yeah, that's what I've got in this video, guys. Good luck this week, this weekend, tonight, whatever sport you're playing. Good luck, and as always, bring them that bacon. Peace.